Newt, do you agree with Congressman Gallagher, and do you understand his worry about Taiwan? Well, you know, he's exactly right on both counts. First of all, uh, President Biden first talked about the danger of Russia invading Ukraine in April of last year. <clears throat> so they had 10 months when they could have built up the Ukrainian military, uh, created uh, what Admiral Stavridis has called a porcupine strategy, which is what he's recommended for Taiwan. Make it so powerful, uh, so expensive to try to conquer that it's just not worth the effort. And so I would say, one, they ought to apply that right now to Taiwan, and they should be rushing to Taiwan all the equipment that they would try to get to them later on if the communists invaded. And remember, <clears throat> Xi Jinping is fully as tough as Putin. I mean, look at him in Hong Kong, in Tibet, uh, in western China with the Uyghurs. Uh, this is a very tough guy. And I think we need to prove that we're prepared to, to defend Taiwan, not just talk about it. In addition, uh, the insanity of the Biden administration, first of all, in allowing the Russians to be involved in, the, in negotiating with uh, Iran at a time when we're trying to isolate Russia. It's unacceptable. Uh, it's going to lead to a crazy destructive. Well, it's going to lead to an, an insane deal in which the leading terrorist country in the world is given money by the U.S. in order to be able to pay for terrorism in the U.S. I mean, you have to wonder, I mean, where are the Biden people psychologically in, in reality? Second... Why does Biden want to appeal to Venezuela, which is a communist dictatorship, Terrible. to uh, Saudi Arabia, which is a, a monarchical dictatorship, but he's against Oklahoma, Pennsylvania, Texas, etc.? You know, uh, there's an anti-American pattern to this administration that is really weird. And the pro-green stuff is killing Europe. They're waking up. Uh, they're going to go uh, nuclear, and they got. We have to let them know we will be their LNG partner. Let's get together on it. Meanwhile, the Absolutely. other, the real, we, I know it's bothering you as much as it's bothering most of America and the free world to see these innocent people killed at a dizzying rate. We seem helpless because we're so afraid of starting World War III. Many cases, understandable. We can't do that no-fly zone. We keep hearing it. The General Keith Kellogg came up with this. I kind of understand what everybody's saying about, you know, no-fly zone, don't want to use uh, NATO because of Article 5 concerns. But I've said all along, what if you made this a, a United Nations no-fly zone? And there are ways to actually get there. You have to work hard diplomatically to do it. But then you get the whole world on you. We've got to make it so hard on Putin, so hard on the Russians, they've got to stop. What about that? The feasibility of that. Well, well, I, I mean, I worry about any kind of no-fly zone because, in the end, it means you're shooting down Russia.